Empire. So Empire is a torn and restored card. You have a spectator select a card. They put it off to the side. You have a prediction card that is ripped in half. You touch those pieces together, they fuse together. It instantly changes with the wave of the hand. They look back at the card that they are holding and they have switched places. And that is Empire. All right guys, so this is the explanation for Empire. You're gonna to need to build a simple gimmick, which we'll go through. Um, essentially, this is what it looks like. Like this here. It's, uh, it's a flat. And uh, so let's get into the construction. What you're gonna need is two court cards and a contrasting black card. And I like to use a simple card. Uh, and we're going to fold this card in half like this and get it just as perfect as you can get it. Just go back and forth a little bit until we start to get um, the, to get a real good bind in it so that we can rip it and rip it fair without any tears. So here, keep ripping. Perfect. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna do the same thing with one of the court cards. Just getting those fibers loose. Just going back and forth. Just creasing it. And then once it's uh, nice and loose, you just very careful not to pull off any of the layers. Here, now you can discard two of these, which you don't need, but those can, you need to keep these just in case you need extra later. Now, um, same thing with this, except you're not gonna rip it. So I'm going to go through and just as perfect as I can. Do this just two, two or three times, and I don't want it to really, um, you know, get real loose and stuff yet. And I'm gonna do this one with ways as well, like this. So you want uh, this card to be in fourths and two halves here. Um, now that you have this half, you can go ahead and bend it as well, like this. That there, and the same thing with this one. Now, you need to get some permanent um, or double-sided tape here. You can you can uh, you can use the remo uh, the removable removable, but the permanent is going to be best for this because uh, it's going to need to be really strong. So take a piece, and you're going to uh, well beforehand you need to take the not the court card but the spot card here and rip it half like this and on one corner I want to place this piece right here okay so I'm going to put the double sided tape on the back of that and now as perfect as I can get it I'm going to just right there okay so to simplify things a little bit have the full card and if I'm looking at it at the top left corner has the spot card pip side on it double sided tape there okay now at the other side I'm going to take a piece of double sided tape and um, I'm going to place it on the back of this spot card like this and I'm going to fold, make sure that you have it to where the pip is upside down, like this, towards you. So you want the pip to be towards your body. You want to fold it down. I want to turn this around so that it fits, so that the round edge is with the round edge, and place it right on top here, and squeeze. 
So we're almost done. So this, as you can see, is gonna be our flap here. So now all I need to do is double side tape this to here. Now this is the, this is the one that's a little different. So if you're to lay this, these two pieces together, so that the king looks like a full king, open this up this way, like a book. I'm just doing it so that when you do this for the first time, it's simplified. And I want to take a piece of double-sided tape and I want to place it. That might have been too long here. Here we go. Place it on the bottom of the king. Right here. On the very bottom. Now, I'm going to take this flap again, just, just as if it looks like a full king when it's applied. I want to push it nice and square. Really push this. Okay, you want, you want that to really hold, really hold. And make sure everything's nice and squared up. I can see some places here where I've missed. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to be in view for very long. So I'm just adjusting a little bit. I can kind of move it around to exactly where I need it to be, which is right here. Now your finger is going to be covering a couple of these places and stuff, so it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be flashing this around like this. So this is essentially what you have. You have a king when, it's, when the flap is up, and when it's down you have half of a two. That's what you want. And the reason that this only has double-sided tape on the bottom here is very important. That way we can go into the restoration part here. You don't want there to be any double-sided tape up here. You won't be able to maneuver it right. So um, that is the construction of your gimmick and now we will get into the restoration. Alright, so we are going to get into the restoration portion of Empire. Now you have your gimmick here that you've made. Here's how you want to start with the restoration. You want the flap to be down so that they can see the two, like this here, and then fold it again. And it might be hard, really hard to, uh, to get this to bend the right way, being its first time bent because of all the layers and stuff, but you want to just work it so that it, uh, so that it folds easily and you don't have to force it. So when you pull this out, this is how, this is what's going to happen. The part with the most layers, there are three layers here and there are four layers of card here when it's bunched up together like this. So there's three and then here's four. The one that you can move open like this, you want to be on the outside. <clears throat> okay, so when you pull this out, the four layered side is going to be on your right the three layered side is going to be on your left. So when you open, your middle finger is going to come at the bottom of this card, index finger in the middle. You're going to allow this to open up. Your thumb is going to go inside. This hand is covering this other piece. That way if we have anybody over here, they can't see anything. So this is what it looks like. Like that. I'm just going to let it open up. Now we're going to open it up with our thumb, thumbs like this, and immediately, as soon as this comes here, we are going to do this move. And all this is, when this opens up, this hand is going forward, your thumb is on the back applying pressure, we're going to go forward, and we're bringing this left hand back, like this. Okay, so here to here. The reason your finger is at the bottom is because if it stays at the top here, you can see that zigzag. So you want to tilt back like this. And you can tilt this way a good amount. You can tilt this way a whole lot. But straight on, tilt back. And this, what this does, this hides the bottom. The bottom zigzag. So now all you do for the restoration is just bring them together grab the top, the thick layer here, and you're done. 
It's a restored card. So, one more time. Cards folded. The four layered side is on my right. Three layered side is on my left. Let it open up. Like this immediately go to the zigzag position. Bring them together. Twist. Apply a little bit of pressure with your fingers so that everything stays together. And now you have a restored card. And I would let that sit there for a second. Maybe flick it a little bit. They can see that it's restored. So that is the restored portion of Empire. Now we will get into the change. Okay, so this is the change portion of Empire. So we've got to our restoration. We've got to this point. They can see that the card is restored. And there's quite a few ways you can do this. Um, the first way is to allow that to open up and wave with your hand that piece down. And all that's happened is this flap is just going from here to here. Okay. So to do this, you want the fourth, the four layer part, the place with the flap here. You've twisted it till it's upright. You're going to allow it to let go and you're going to come over and just wave. And just bring that flap down and open it up and show that all the way around. You can also, from here, um, after you've restored the card, like this, instead of rotating the, fourth, the four layered piece upwards towards you, you can rotate it so that it's on the bottom. And if you forget which way is which, when you restore this card, the four layered piece, with the most layers here, will be, the pip will be looking at the right direction. It will be upright looking at you. If you want it towards the bottom, it will be upside down. So here, I rotate it so that the pip is upside down. I allow it to open up with just relaxing my finger. We get this gap here. Everything's covered from my left side. This finger goes in. My index and finger and my thumb take over. I twist to the right a little bit, and I just go like that. Okay. So from here to there. And you can cover this with anything, anything you want with your hand, um, just by shaking it up, however you want to do it. And from there, you're just going to open up the card. So that is the change portion of Empire. Okay, so your gimmick here that we have is a King of Hearts and a Two of Clubs. So I went ahead and got um, a duplicate uh, King of Hearts so that I can rip this up in a minute and not destroy my King, uh, my King of Hearts that's in the deck. So you may want to grab a duplicate card and these are going to go on top of the deck. So this is in your pocket, um, under your watch, wherever you want to put it. So we'll just put it here for now. Just keep a hold of it. And these two cards are on the top of the deck. Um, and you want it to be the king first, in this case the king first, and then the two on top of that. And you can go ahead and go into a false shuffle, um, whatever you want to do, or you can go through the pack, or actually or have the spectator shuffle the cards, go through the pack, find out where your king and your two are at, and from there do a, uh, do a, do a pass or a cut, whatever you want to do. So now they're on top. Um, so then I would ask the spectator to say stop. They'll say stop, and you just cut to your break, and that gets put on top. And you're going to say, go ahead and I want to show you a card and memorize your card. Now I have a break here. I'm ready to lift up and show this double as one and show them the king of hearts right here. Okay. So go ahead and say stop, stop. You're here. I want you to remember that card. And while I do that, I have enough time to get a pinky break or push over two cards, however you want to do this. So I show this card. Go ahead and remember it. You got it. I place it on the deck, and I place the deck down, and I grab the top card, which is now the two, and I want to rip that two like this, and I want to set it down or place it in their hand, and I want to say, um, 
I have a prediction card that I had from earlier. And now here is where you want the pip, <clears throat> the pip side to be facing, uh, yeah, the, the pip side to be facing you and the non-pip side facing your spectator. So I pull it out and I instantly go into the restoration. Say, I want to show you something that's really neat where I can take this card and put it together like this. Now it's instantly restored, which is neat. It's a very neat effect, but um, this is not your card, right? And they say, no. So from there, I go into a change like this and I can show all the way around. And from here, I can open up that card and show that it's the king. And from this point, they can go ahead and check this card and they will have the two of clubs. Okay, so um, we can go through that one more time. This is folded up as your prediction card here. And I'm just gonna put it here in my watch. We're going to just, uh, let's just pretend that this is the two. So you riffle through, they say stop. You get your break. Remember this card? You're gonna grab this card and rip it, which is actually the two. Place that in their hand. Grab your prediction. This is the prediction, the prediction card. The thick side goes on your right, and the pip side goes on your left. So here I instantly go into the restoration, and from there I go into the change show all the way around and open up go ahead and check your card and it's now the two and that is the performance of empire